Hey guys, so today I'm going to be playing with the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Blood Lust Palette. I got this baby in the mail maybe a week ago-ish. I've been sick with the flu and I don't even know what else. So this is my first chance to get to sit down and play with that. I didn't want to like touch it and swatch it when I was sick just because I was sick and I don't want to touch my new makeup like that. So if you guys want to see how I created this eye look, then be sure and subscribe to my channel and we will get started. Alright, so we're actually starting this video with my base already done. Usually I don't do this when I'm testing out a new eyeshadow palette, but we're mixing it up. I'm testing out the Bloodlust palette from Jeffree Star. I actually got this almost a week ago. I ordered mine on Beautylish. It actually didn't ship as quick as Beautylish normally does, but I still got it pretty quickly. Um, this is what it looks like. It's super cool and unique. Um, I really want to use that green in there with like some purples today. You guys know I love purple eyeshadow, so I was super excited about this palette. The only shade I'm not like crazy about just like looking at the palette is Bleeding Heart. Just because it's like an orangey brick red, but I've seen people do like red and purple looks. I don't know if they use this palette or not. I honestly have not watched any videos on this besides Jeffree's launch video. I know not everyone was thrilled about this. And I have to say, like, I think it's really cute, but I understand where people are coming from, coming from, like, wanting more purples because the Blue Blood had, like, tons of blues, and then Blood Sugar, obviously, is, like, all reds, pinks, and a couple of purples in there as well. But also, just looking at it, I totally get where people are coming from also about there not being a deep, deep purple. There is, a, like, a grayish purple in here called Dungeon, so maybe I'll use that today, but I'm going to go ahead and jump into this so I'm thinking I want to do just like purple everywhere and then I want to throw on that green there are some other pretty shimmers but I really want to use sworn enemy so I'm going to make that happen today I'm going to dip into the shade deviant which is this palette is like really hard to hold up so I'm sorry guys I may have to like just start describing the shades because it's really bulky and awkward I love his packaging because it's so extra but like sometimes it's really hard to hold up Especially in my setup, I don't have, I have like a really big vanity table, but like I have a lot of crap on it. I need to clean. I've been sick with the flu, so I've gotten some PR and stuff and everything. That is a really pretty pastel purple. Like I would just rock that all over my lid and call it a day. But yeah, I've been sick with the flu and stuff's just been like piling up and I've not been feeling the best. And tomorrow I have to go get a root canal done, which I'm not looking forward to at all so I'm gonna get this up I realized I wanted to post a makeup look this week and I doubt I will want to like film and play with makeup after my root canal tomorrow morning so figured I better sit down today and then I work later this week so I thought this would be my chance I really like this shade it's like a really nice periwinkle I'm just going to like take this in my tr crease and like low in my transition area. I'm not taking it as high as I usually do. I think I want to keep this look more, I don't even know, like just concise. I don't want to like blow it out too much. Next, I want to go in with the shade Vivid Mood. Is this really pretty purple? <coughs> Seeing that purple um, above that shade Vile Serpent with like that deep like green Reminds me of these Pop-Tarts, and I'm putting this in my crease, by the way. It reminds me of those Pop-Tarts that I used to eat as a kid. They were, like, purple and green. I don't remember what flavor they were, but I thought they were, like, a berry. If anyone else remembers, if you're, like, a 90s child and you know what I'm talking about, please let me know I'm not crazy, and maybe you know the name because I cannot think of it. These shades really blend out nicely, honestly, like... You guys know I like my purples, and I test out a lot, a lot of purple eyeshadow, so I am thrilled so far. I think they look really nice. They don't look patchy at all, which, I mean, I've only used two shades, but still. Some brands just don't have amazing shadow formulas. Alright, next I'm going to go into Blood Queen. It is... This deeper purple over here. I really like that stamp. That's super cute. It's like a little crown. And I'm just taking this on a tapered 
brush and I'm placing this in my outer corner because I want the green shade to have something to blend into. I thought about doing a halo eye but I don't like halo eyes that much on my eyelids. I think it's because this one is like super hooded because I have that scar and then this one is like not as much. I don't know. I just, I like smoked out looks personally and then occasionally I cut crease but I like doing wearable looks that I think like anyone can easily do on themselves and like it will look really good universally. This purple is also really nice. So to test out that gray, I think I'm going to dip into it a little bit with the same brush, that dungeon. It's like that grayish purple. And I'm just going to put this right over top in the outer V and just see how much this can deepen things. I feel like I deepened it a little bit. I'm going to go back in with the shade Deviant and that first brush is going to help blend out. And I'm just taking it like right on that edge just to like soften that line. I think so far so good. I think it looks really nice. I'm trying to get in here like right here. Sometimes it skips because I have like a little like eye wrinkle right there. <laughs> so I have to like try to like stretch it out. <laughs> Alright. I'm going to go in and do some shimmer. I'm going to wet my brush. One, since I always do, and two, I already have my base done. So, usually in my makeup routine, I do do my base first because it's just quicker for me as I'm getting ready in the mornings. I usually do my makeup in between, like, 20, 30 minutes. Sometimes even faster if I don't, like, do full out glam every day, but usually I do full out glam every day. Um, so, next, I'm going in with Sworn Enemy. Is that really pretty green? I love greens. That is a really, really soft shimmer. I'm just gonna pack this all over the lid. It reminds me of like, it's just like an olive green. It's so, so pretty. Green and purple, my two favorite colors to wear, and I'm doing it in the same look today. Besides that, so I'm gonna dip back into Dungeon a little bit and just go over the outer bit to kind of help blend things. I'm just gonna drag it down a little bit because I'm gonna add some purple down there anyways in a bit thought about packing a little bit of that pink over top of it i don't know what that'd look like we'll take a little bit it is the shade wet jewel it's like this really pretty pink it looks like it would just be like a nice pink topper so let's see i think it makes the green look like frosted almost that's pretty all right i really like that I just changed it ever so slightly. Next, I'm going to do my lower lash line. I'm just going back in with what I did. So, Deviant, that really light pastel purple. I'm just going to sweep that under my lower lash line. And same over here. And then next, I'm going in with Vivid Mood. Sweeping that under there. I'm just connecting it to the outer V. And then I'm going to go in with the Blood Queen. And do the same thing. I feel like that like black purple glimmer, the executioner, would be really cool for like a smoky look. So I'm gonna go ahead and do some liner, mascara, and lashes, and I'll be right back. Alright, so I went ahead and put lashes on and finished up the rest of my face and threw on a lipstick. Um, I'll have all of the makeup products that I'm wearing on my face linked down below, but I am wearing the X. Supermodel lipstick from Jeffree Star and my lashes are from Lash Pop Lashes and they are in the style Send Nudes. And then I also busted out my Jeffree Star Supreme Frost Highlighter and Frozen Peach. But again, I'll have everything linked down below. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope it was helpful for you in some way. Um, yeah, so I can't wait to keep playing with this palette. I think the look I created came out really fun. I really like the little pale pink that I kind of threw over that green. I think I just added a little something, but I think this palette would be beautiful for springtime and doing like a really pretty pastel look. You could just uh, put Deviant and Vivid Mood like in your crease and then like wash over on your lid with the shade Take the Crown. I think that'd be really stunning for this spring. So I can't wait to keep playing with this. If you guys want more looks, I can always post them, but Usually I at least just do like one look per palette because there's always so much new stuff coming out and I don't know if you guys want to keep 
seeing more looks with the palettes that I've had. Um, so you'll have to let me know what you guys... <coughs> So you'll have to let me know what you guys want to see next for me. But yeah, so far I do like the palette. Obviously this is my first time sitting down to play with it. So I don't really have any thoughts on it yet. So thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure and subscribe to my YouTube channel. It means a lot to me. Give this video a thumbs up if you like tutorials of this sort. And be sure and follow me on all of my socials, especially Instagram. That's where I'm most active. I will have all that stuff linked down below and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!